Hey there guys, we're back once again with um, Grand Theft Auto 3, I'm Ultragrant, and today we're going to get the hidden packages on this island, or oh, all of them we can anyway, because there's a couple we can't get to yet. So, what I'm going to do is, you're going to see like a montage, <laughs> it's going to be like a montage of... Um, all of the thing packages, me getting all the packages. So yeah, um, I'll be talking over it now. Um, it would post commentary, obviously. Yeah. So uh, because I'm already going there, I might as well show you the first package. Uh, as you saw, like you drive from the hideout, you go up the road a little bit, you drive across the grass, and you get here, and you get your first package. So right, I'll see you guys um, That's great. soon. So, uh, who's I'll be talking now? over Hello. the montage, yeah. and, the and you know, to call in. You really I hope it helps you out if you, you've never found them. Track. Right, this first one, if uh, you go down to Hepburn Heights, near where you talk to El Boro on the phone, you go up them stairs and you go up onto these tracks, and then uh, if you jump across here, you get yourself a, a flamethrower, and you get yourself a hidden package, that's number two. Now this third one, um, it's just outside of here. You go back down those stairs that you went up, and it's just in the center of that park area. Uh, fourth one, it's just behind the phone where you talk to El Boro. Um, this fifth one, um, if you go to your hideout and you just follow the road downwards, you'll find this like building, this apartment complex or whatever it is, and just go down there. Um, this one's next to Eight Balls Place. It's a showroom next to Eight Balls, and you just crash something through the window to get in. Uh, then number seven, you jump up onto this wall, it's opposite the showroom and eight walls, and it's just a gas station opposite those. And uh, that's, you just climb up that wall, jump down, jump across. Uh, this is just up the road from uh, number seven, and it's just behind that building. Number nine is um, at the bottom of the big hill in the Mafia territory, and it's just like you look for this broken building. And then this one, uh, you go to the top of the hill and you just jump across this rooftop. Uh, you get this package here, and that's number 10, which will unlock the pistol. Or at least it did for me, unless you do this in a different order as well. So uh, I'll just quickly show you. This is the hideout, and uh, this is where your guns spawn along here. At least on this hideout, anyway. So, yeah, I thought I'd just show that off. Um, so number 11, at least in what I'm following here, you go up to the mansion at the top of uh, the hill in Portland Beach, and it's just this mansion, and it's just around the back of it. Now when you get back into your car, you just drive straight off the cliff, um, you know, go straight past the thing, the uh, mansion and the garages. You'll jump off the cliff and you'll find this one down here, it's like below. Mention. Then you head back to the red light district, go up here, uh, this is behind Luigi's place, and uh, you find 13 at the top of Luigi's, and you jump across into this other building, and you find 14. I need a drink. <laughs> this next one, um, if you go to, uh, just come away from Luigi's club, you'll find this one, it's down the alleyway. Um, opposite the building to where Luigi is. And then this one, you go past Triple X Mags, and you'll um, find that one. You'll be able to bash through those windows. Uh, this one would be number 17 for me. But um, it's in the subway. We can't access the subway yet until we unlock the next island. But it's in the bathroom down there, and I'll show that off as soon as I can go there. Uh, this one, you go up to um, whatever this place is called again. <laughs> It's just a mafia area, it's the top, there's an alleyway just before you get down to the train tracks that you can go in. And it's just in there with the music. And then, uh, you go up to these train tracks here, and uh, you jump off of here to get onto the top of this um, supermarket. And uh, it's just along the rooftop, you'll find it pretty easily. Now you see that car to the left, that's the one I'm going to get in. And then you just go around the back of this building now, and you should find a tunnel. And uh, in this tunnel, there's four hobos with molotovs, and there's a hidden package. Kill the molotov hobos, because otherwise they kill you. <laughs> right, number 20. Uh, if you go left when you spawn out of the hospital, uh, you'll find this parked car. It's always there. 
uh, and then I just recommend you follow where I go here because I really didn't know how to explain this one. So I just left all this little bit of footage. And this one should be number 20. You need to run over that triad, by the way, it's a key factor in this getting this hidden package. There we go, that's the Uzi unlocked. So, uh, that will just spawn next to your pistol at the hideout. I think all the weapons respawn every six hours or something along those lines. So uh, this one, if you um, remember the fuzzball mission, it's just uh, that's to the left of where I was, and it's you just follow that road. It's in an the alleyway there, and then uh, you just follow where I go here because I didn't know how to explain this one either. And then a bit I, I didn't cut any footage there, so it's all in one. Right, so. Number 23. We go back onto the train tracks again. <laughs> and avoid the train, but luckily that's on the other side of the tracks. Uh, and you go to this area where you can see this building. You jump across by using that uh, little bit of a beam there. Uh, you go into supersonic mode, run across here. And you find all these goodies for your collection. And a hidden package. Uh, next, you will... Um, need to get inside bitch and dog food factory so um, you open these gates up and you go around the back here and there is number 24 um, and then if you come back out and go to Joey's place if you uh, go opposite the place and knock down his fence you can find number 25 now uh, number 26 is uh, back in the docks if you remember, we took the uh, secure car out there earlier in a playthrough. You go there, you go right, you go left towards the big crane, go up upstairs, jump across onto this awning, and uh, there you go. And you break your legs each time. Now this one, you just go past Joey's, it's behind this wall here that I just drove into. You go around the back of this, well, the front of this building, you go left, go right, go around this wall, and there you go. Next, you crash into the Callahan Bridge with a truck. Uh, go around the back of it, underneath it. And back here, you'll find number 28. There is also a pistol around there somewhere, but I can't remember where it was. Oh, it's over there. <laughs> now, this one was tricky to get because this taxi driver would not cooperate at all. So, uh, you need to get a car, uh, jump on top of it, jump over the fence, and just climb onto this roof. Run across, pick up the armor and Uzi if you want. And um, it's around the back of here. Now number 30 is just opposite of that building, like it's on the other side of the road, just drive down where I just did, and uh, here you go, there's number 30 all the way down there. Uh, now number 31 is uh, like uh, in the water, it's like a little rock or something in the water somewhere, that we can't get to it yet because we don't unlock boats until we get to the next island. Um, now for this last one, you got to go and get yourself a triad van, it makes this a whole lot easier. And uh, you go to this area, it's um, near where we found 26. And uh, you use the triad van to get into the um, their factory, and there you go. That's all of the packages I can currently get, and that's all the packages you should be able to currently get, unless you do a glitch to get the other two. <laughs> so right, that's it for the hidden packages, but what fun would it be just to show hidden packages? Because look... Had a bit of fun along the way. We got to add to our car flip total. We just uh, seem to have a lot of car flips. Here's a question for you. I want you to put in, like a prediction for um, how many cars I will have um, crashed like this or blown up through flipping uh, by the end of this project. Let me know. Just put it down in the comments. Just a little prediction. I reckon it's going to be about a hundred and probably like a hundred and three or something obscure like that. Because we've still got like over half, we've still got over two thirds of the game to go yet. I think so. We've got a while yet before we're finished. But yeah, this has been Ultra Run. This has been Grand Theft Auto 3, and we've been playing this game for my let's play and I don't know why I'm saying this crap like this but anyway um, I'll see you guys next time for um, well I think it'll be whatever part is next because this might be out of order compared to the rest so um, 
Thanks for watching.